Everywhere we go, every person we encounter, there's a good chance that smartphone is tracking us. The device stores data on places we visited, information that could prove useful in flattening the curve. That is an area of great interest to every jurisdiction. There are many, many innovators with lots of different ideas. Take this app that logs a user's recent locations, warning them if they've crossed paths with a known virus carrier. The more people that are in this, the better it's going to work. This is not some sort of tracking service, and there is literally no way for the government to live track anyone. The technology has helped in Singapore and other Asian countries. Now Apple and Google are teaming up to allow for automatic contact tracing using smartphones elsewhere. And Britain is testing its own app for those who fall ill. The app will then send an alert anonymously to other app users that you've been in significant contact with. On my phone, in the app... Canadian developers wonder when the technology will be approved for widespread use here. There's going to have to be some clear guidance, especially to inform um, the makers of technology of how we can use these. Canada is already reaching out to those potentially exposed, but it's the old-fashioned way, on the phone. The government hasn't ruled out using mobile device data, and that's quickly led to privacy concerns. We have to subject it to great scrutiny. We have to ensure it's time limited with a clear deadline. The technology's not perfect, but facing a global pandemic, every step could make a difference. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.